Okay, so today we're going to dig a riser in, a 12 inch riser. It's 2.3 meters deep and a 45 degree. So how I know how wide to go is all I do is I double that depth, 2.3 or feet, whatever it is, double it to so 4.6 plus your how wide your ditch bottom is going to be. So I'll say about 1.4 so that gives me 6 meters and that gives you a perfect one to one slope. So I'm going to rip this six meters wide, it's probably about four feet deep I'm guessing this frost, it's been driven on all week. Well, I won't bore you guys, I'll speed that up. So that just took me about an hour and a half to rip, about 20 meters. So you guys in the warmer climates consider yourself lucky. It's like ripping concrete. It was about three feet deep. And I think I speak for all the operators out there when I say if you can avoid driving on there where on your ditch line, do it because uh, that's a lot of wear and tear on your machine and man hours. Like I could have that riser dug by now. Typically in a winter you get about a foot of uh, frost, but when you drive on it, it goes deeper. I've seen it as deep as nine feet. So that was three feet and that was only about a week of driving on it. So it happens pretty fast.
got her pretty close, about in within an inch or so. On the bottom there, we had some shale, so we're gonna have to get some rock guard, and they're gonna bring in a little load of sand here to do this backing. I couldn't throw any back in with this material, but we just went for coffee, but we got about an inch here to come back, so that'll help a little bit. Not the best material to show you guys, but worked out, I guess.